What is up guys, shout out Alan here, and today we're talking about Yelena Belova. She got a brand new Potential Awaken, which really gives her a significant stat bump, uh, and so we're going to talk about her and how good she is, especially compared to Bucky and Falcon, because they're all speed types, uh, and so they all got um, significant uniform and upgrades for this update, as long as it's also with Yelena. So let's take a second and look at the build, um, our detail we got attack speed maxed out crit rates just about there crit damage is just about there um, physical attack is 30,000 um, and so then um, yeah so then let's look at the gears right I got five uh, star uru on all of it and I think there might be a six no just all five and uh, that's okay and uh, skills maxed out type is uh, rank four ISO not quite maxed out all the way yet. Uh, she does have a CTP of energy, uh, which helps her chain hit damage. Uh, and then her um, uniform options. Let's do that real quick. Rogue Uncanny Avengers, uh, which is her older one. Um, Iron Man Team Suit. Uh, Nebula and... Whoops, hang on. Uh, White Fox Life Lifestyle Series 1. Then Nebula Endgame. And so... Um, they're okay, uh, and then the last one is Colossus Phoenix 5, and so I just need more bars. Um, but, um, yeah, so she also has two different ones, uh, the snowsuit and the black suit, and so the snowsuit, uh, from my understanding from other people in the community, it's better for PvP than, um, than the black suit, because she's got this smoke throw on her third skill that gives, um, a, it makes your enemies miss the attack, and then gives you invisibility and ignore taller getting, so they can't see you and get you. And so, um, that's really good for PvP. But, I don't really usually play PvP, so instead I like the, uh, the black one. Um, the uniform effect on it increases the chain hit damage by 30% while attacking, and you also have an additional ignored defense, which is pretty nice. And so... And so yeah, so that's her. So let's go ahead and jump into some content to see how good she is. All right, so we have Yelena Belova at Proxima Midnight, stage 63. Uh, that's about as far as I can go. I'm trying to get this up to level 99, so it's a little bit more impressive when I do it. Um, but uh, you'll still see that she's got some pretty good damage. Uh, the rotation I think works well is five. Wait for that circle to pop up underneath it, then three, and then six. Uh, and it's an incredibly long potential awakened skill, uh, which is nice because then that helps your rotation for the following one. But uh, you'll see right here, she's doing pretty much good damage. So the unit 5, 3, 4. Alright, and uh, she's already slamming the ground. Alright, there's some 1s and 2s. 5, 3, 4. So you can see that like big red circle that kind of goes around her. Oops, let's not die though. Um, she does have a heal on the potential awaken skill, and she kind of gets good. So, anyways, yeah, Proxima Midnight stage 63. But I mean, she has her potential awaken, so let's take her in some null. All right, Yelena Belova, stage six world boss legend. Here comes and what she does. So we got Bucky lead. We got the Valkyrie passive support. And uh, so then we're going to see how much damage Yelena can do if she can solo Null by herself. And she's doing pretty good damage so far, so that is a good sign. We like seeing that there is a lot of damage going on. in the cage. four on the board when he gets out of the chair that means we're doing pretty good damage remember if you can hit four uh, 40 by four minutes then that usually means you can get it but it's going to be pretty um, tight for time now you don't want to have like just a waste on time uh, you want to make sure you have as much time as you can especially on that last part because it's you know, rough if you don't do that 
with Savaku, make sure we don't get destroyed by these uh, symbiotes jazz. Alright. Five, six, four. I was gonna not use the Transcend Awaken skill because uh, we were so close to the 22 marker on that. So you just kinda have to be mindful when you're playing Null um, about how much damage you're doing. And um, that way you can save your potential skill for when you can do that damage. If I would have done it there, then it really would have been a big waste. But yeah, we're doing some pretty good damage from Yelena Belova. I, I think her rotation is fun. The skill animations look really cool. Right, she's jump up in the air. You got these these red reticules popping up on their head. Right, it's just... It's kind of a fun, she's a fun character, right? And I like the MCU skin. It just makes you feel cool that I'm playing as the characters that I'm seeing in the movies. So, oh, we, oh, we just about skipped the dragon phase. Just about, which is nice. Because uh, we only probably had like maybe an inch left on damage. Then we would have got it, but... I really like her. Uh, Lane is pretty fun, and you'll see, especially with Mephisto, she just really kind of destroys him. So that's really nice. Alright, last stage, or last part of the fight. Nell's gonna come over here. Um, you can kind of, she does have a heal on her awakened skill, so I might just try it. No, I can't get close. Okay, so some characters have a guard break immunity where they can kind of get close and still do damage. They'll take damage, but but they won't get stunned, and she'll, she got stunned. So we're gonna have to just see how much raw damage she can do. I think we're good. I think we got it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm at 44 on the clock for stage six um, against Null. All right, we got Mephisto stage six with Yelena Belova potential awakened, and she is a speed type, so she should be able to do a lot of damage against Mephisto. All right, you'll still do the rotation five when she sees the circle. Uh, three, six. And you just kind of let the animation play out until they uh, see the explosion. And then uh, then you can kind of move on to your next portion. But we are already on the next phase, so that is a good sign of damage. If you can do the uh, the next phase before he gets enraged, um, then that it means you're doing a lot of damage, which is really good. Um, my rule of thumb is if you get um, past his first phase and you still have um if you do enrage like twice by that then you're probably going to run out of time at the end of the fight um because you lose a lot of time on that end of the fight when he's enraged because he just runs around so you have to do a lot of spike damage but uh, that is not a problem for miss yelena right here go ahead and switch out of oh, just gonna get red. oh come on now come on oh my goodness Okay, so, yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> that was a thing. All right, she does have good movement speed, but you just have to be careful with her. I would rather not um, rely on just her movement speed on those parts. Just switch out, because if she gets burnt... Oops. Come on. Come on, Yelena. Um, I did bring Venom's... Um, as a support so that he could drop some heals just to make sure she doesn't die because I don't want to have to do this fight a hundred different times for you guys <laughs> I'd rather it be one good run and then we move on as she about dies alright so that part you have to kind of watch out for that purple cross thing you just kind of keep moving and it's fine just watch out for the areas that it's going purple on and we'll go ahead and five three Six. All right, she has a heal on the six move, so she's gonna be. Don't you? Oh, here we go again. Purple things again. Oh, Mephisto's doing some combos, right, with the hands and the uh, the purple cross move. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that spike of damage. Alright, I think we're gonna we're think we're gonna do it. Enraged. 
Oops, oops. So in this part, it's the ooh, he about got me. But it's important to kind of walk around him, and then uh, that way he can dodge it. But boom, just like that. 207 on the board for stage six against Mephisto. So that is really, really good. So overall, Yelena Belova is a pretty strong character. Um, I think she cleared it quicker than Bucky, um, and so I think she's better than Bucky, um, but it seems like Falcon is still better. Um, and so I think that she's a great character that you can add to your thing. Um, but let's talk about how to get her real quick before we get too carried away. Um, in the legendary battle, on the Black Widow one, if you go to the second one, the Spiders in the Snow, and you don't have the character, you could click the screen where it says character, and it will offer her to you at six stars for 2,500 crystals. With that 2,500 crystals, then you can get her at six star. And then if you have one of these tier two mega advancement tickets from some of the events, then you would be able to instantly get her to tier two. Then after that, you just need to get the uniform, uh, and then the uniforms do need the bios to get so her bios are um, part of the um, 20 bios daily subscription that you have uh, you have to pay for so that's ten dollars um, a month and you'll get 20 bios a day for uh, that but um, she's pretty good and so if you get the uniform even if it's just um, you don't even get to upgrade the uniform. It's still pretty good. And so I think she's worth your time. I think she's worth her effort. Um, I think she's pretty strong. And so she should be able to bump up your team uh, and help for PvP. She, Because she's speed, she's going to do extra damage against Mephisto. Right? And I've, I've got Mephisto where I have these higher stages where I need superheroes. Right? And so the more superheroes I had, means the farther I can clear up to it, so I can get up to the uh, stage 15 uh, and see what the um, qualifiers are for that. So uh, I plan on using her for Mephisto and wrecking him and then Falcon on another build and then um, kind of seeing where we have in there. But anyways, I think you guys are awesome and appreciate the support and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, put a comment down below, maybe hit subscribe so you get notified when we do the next video and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.